Now let's uh, place a deck. Um, let's place a beam layout. So it's going to be the same from beginning to end. And it's going to be the same for all the supports. I'm going to place five beams and the distance from the edge of the slab will be three feet here. It's checking our geometry. Okay, because I need to have the distance also from the right side of the slab. That's good now. The offset of the beams at the beginning and also at the end with a negative side. And just uh, save it. And I just have created a beam layout. Now I can place a beam. The actual beam. So select the layout that I'm going to be using. Accept it. And then since it applies to all the beams, I just need to pick what type of beam I'm going to use. So in my library, I may have custom beams, for example, for specific DOTs that we have or created already these libraries, or use the ones, for example, that are coming from Libris Concrete. So here we can select also a specific one, example. Hit OK. Now I have my beams created. Now these beams now will go where it's supposed to go, below the deck. Uh, at this time, I can also start uh, selecting different views uh, and applying different configurations. Frames, illustration, for example, here, or my active view here better. Uh, maybe keep it like that and then design on that with the wireframe. So I just selected and place all my beams here. 